Okay, I'm starting with the equations that we had from today's class. Uh, it's uh, two masses and two springs. You can see them right here. And I've got, uh, I'm going to build a simulate model with this. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. There's a new model. Okay. So let's just go ahead and build a, a regular spring mass system that we would have. Um, like we've done in the past. Grab our integrators here. We need two of those. Okay. And it's going to connect those up a little bit. And we're going to need some uh, say math, math operators. We're going to need a feedback. Turn that around, let's flip it. Okay. And this will be for a single, it would just be K1 divided by M1. Okay, so we've got that. And let's put a summation block in here. Okay. Bring that in here. Oh, yeah. We've got to change the sign here to a minus. Let's connect this to here. <clears throat> and let's get a scope uh, and take a look at this real quick and make sure that it's it's doing what we think it should be doing. Oops, sinks. <clears throat> Okay, let's get our scope together. And I believe I gave you, uh, let's see if we can get rid of this window now. We've done that. Let's save. Okay. K1 equals 300. M1 equals 10. And this spring mass, it should just oscillate, uh, back and forth. So let's see if it does does what we expect it to. Oh, we've got to give it initial condition. Let's give it uh, initial condition of uh, 0.1 or 10 centimeters. Okay. Now initial conditions, it wouldn't do much of anything, would it? Okay. So it is, does exactly what we're expecting. So we're pretty happy about that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Make another one. This will be our second spring mass. Okay. But now, if we refer back to the equations uh, that I didn't save, okay, uh, this would become. K1. Plus K2 divided by M1. Okay. And this here would become K2 divided by M2. Okay. And um, now we need to also connect. We need to bring a feed off of that, uh, this to include a some feedback from, uh, and I believe it was positive, it's K2 over M1. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get another gain. Here. Oops. Bring the gains back up for library browser. Let's go grab another uh, gain here. In here, we'll flip rotate that, and this was K to be K two slash M two. 
Okay. Times y1. Okay, and then we've got to get one off of here as well. So let's grab another one. Let's flip that around. Okay, take it back here. And this will be K2 slash M1. Okay, and now we need to have some values here. K2 equals 300. M2 equals 10. <clears throat> so now we have our, our model built. And let's go ahead and run that. Okay, and now, there we go. We have uh, our signal from that. Uh, let's actually add in uh, let's add in a bus and let's get the displacement from each one of these. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Let's run that so we'll get the displacement of both of uh, Y1 and Y2. <clears throat> and we see that that is pretty much what we would expect. Now let's add a damper uh, into this. Actually, let's not. Let's end it there. And 